Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jeff Peters, and you're watching Good Day Maine here on Fox 23. He has been making movies, no kidding, since he was nine years old. And now Morgan Nichols is ready to make another movie. Joining us live here on Good Day Maine to talk about the next movie he is going to be making. First of all, thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming I'm on. I'm glad to be here, Jeff. Yeah, and first of all, let's talk about you got into filmmaking uh, at nine years old, but your first, first movie in, in elementary school, Super Kid. <laughs> yeah, that was at uh, Kennebunk Consolidated School right there in, uh, in Kennebunk, Port Maine. And and uh, it didn't go very well, honestly. It was uh, I was trying to use a Super 8 camera, and I was nine, and I didn't really know how to do it. The footage came out all terribly overexposed. The film never really was watchable, but it was sure fun to make. Well, I, you went on to bigger and better things. I mean, it, it was off to USC, and, mm -hmm. and uh, is this something you've always wanted to do? Oh, as long as I can remember. Even, you know, I mean, I think I was eight when I decided I wanted to be a filmmaker, and I've never wavered. Started movies uh, at nine o'clock or nine o'clock at the age of nine, and moved on to bigger and better things with, with some of the movies. Talk about some of the movies that you have made leading into this one. Well, I love to make movies outside of uh, the Hollywood system. I, I've I've worked within the system for some of the big major media companies, but when it comes to actually making a film that I care about, I'd rather do it for much less money with my friends in an environment that feels uh, uh, that feels more comfortable to me, like feels like home. So uh, our first yeah, well. film was called Jesus Freak. It was made in a small town in. New Mexico that welcomed us and uh, it was a, it was a, a very strange sort of surreal film that you can actually find on amazon.com if you're looking for it next movie you're gonna be making is called how to make movies at home. The first thing you're going to think is, oh, he's going to show me how to make movies or something, or what? I what, what, what? What is this about? <laughs> well, it's about a group of young kids, um, well, young young adults, really, who've been making films together uh, as a group since they were children, just like I have. Um, these uh, these kids now are, you know, pushing 30, and they've they've got several features, all made in this little small town, a fictional town called Hillport. Hollywood comes to town. They want to exploit the town as, uh, you know, for its for its small town charm for some big, you know, Hollywood TV show. And and there's some conflict between the two groups. One group that's been making work, work there their whole life, and one that's just coming in to exploit. But while I'm telling the story, I'm also going to be actually telling the audience how what they can do to make movies at home themselves. There are lessons woven right in. And, and what kind of lessons can you give folks? I mean, most people do have the video cameras. Look, I have five right, kids. Exactly. And I think I know when I. I'm doing, but then I look at the movies afterwards, and I'm like, you really don't know what you're doing. Well, after you see my movie, Jeff, your 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 work will improve. <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea. Because you know, I had all these same questions when I was a kid making movies. I had the passion, I had the love, I had a much worse equipment than I have now, but I had no idea how to do it. Uh, when I got to USC, I had a long list of questions that I needed answered, and I'd like people to not have to go to a very expensive film school to know that stuff. I think that will make the stuff on YouTube that much more watchable, and we'll have a real alternative to Hollywood films and television. Real quickly, a couple of tidbits, a couple of tips oh, on, on shooting. Well, for example, I never knew where to put the key light, right? Where do you put the brightest light? Well, look, it's up there. The brightest light you actually want coming and hitting you in the back of the head. Totally counterintuitive. I never would have expected that. But it's what gives us all, you newscasters, it's what gives us that nice rim light. It's what separates us from the background. And it's a simple thing. It doesn't take any more money. It's just a bit of knowledge. How about a tripod that's important? On oh, well, sure, absolutely. Like, the more you can stabilize the camera, the better a shot. Nowadays, handheld can look wonderful, too. But I like locking down a camera to a nice still shot now and then as well. I, I think it looks beautiful. All right, and, and uh, to make this movie, you're looking to raise some money as well to I do I am. This. We want to go to howtomakemoviesathome.com. And if you go to that website or find us on, uh, on Facebook, then you can see that we're doing a Kickstarter program, which is a website where grassroots fundraising happens. And people can give small amounts of money 25, 50, all the way up to 4,000. If you give a lot of money, you get different prizes, and one of them is that I will come to your community and help you make an improvised film with, uh, with you and your friends so you can make a movie at home. Uh, do you have to pinch yourself sometimes kind of going, wow, this is cool. I'm really, I'm really making movies, and this is what I do for a living. I, I'm coming on a show like this to it, it, my, my home state in Maine to talk about it on a television show. I mean, is that pretty it, cool? It is it's incredibly exciting, and it's, it's, for me, it's so great to be able to like, come together and, uh, and, and work with my friends in the town that I love. I get to cast my old high school English teacher, Joe Foster from from Kennebunk High School. I get to uh, I, I get to work with the, with the people that I love, and not not some Hollywood person that that I don't know. You know. Real quickly, favorite movie of all time? Oh, Network by the great Sidney Lumet, who just passed away. I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it. <laughs> favorite director? 
Oh, Hitchcock, Robert Altman. I love Ang Lee's stuff right now. All right, sounds great. Uh, again, uh, Morgan Nichols, and what's the website to help raise money? Howtomakemoviesathome.com. Please come and get involved any way you can. We're going to need help in a million different ways. So entertain and teach when it comes to this. That's, that's the idea. Oh, sounds good. Morgan Nichols, thank you very much. I thank you, it. Jeff. All right.